Hello and welcome to Warmy. Before we start watching the new video, very interesting 10 facts why your emails end up in a Google spam folder. But before, subscribe to the channel. Email newsletters are very popular. It seems to be very easy to make an email newsletter, write an email, send it, and you are done. But in fact, everything is not so simple. There are many nuances in email newsletters and without knowing which you cannot only get into spam, but also completely ruin the reputation of a domain. The first thing you need is your domain. It must be warmed up. The subscriber base needs to be cleaned, constantly updated and periodically reviewed. SPF, DKAM and DMARC records must be configured. To track the reputation of a domain in email services, you need postmasters. The biggest problem of any marketer is getting into spam. All the efforts of your team will be wasted. Every year Google's algorithms are getting more and more complicated and smarter. Now Google uses artificial intelligence, which is improving itself and it's not a secret to anyone that getting into inbox in Gmail is the most difficult. Let's see why your emails end up in spam. First reason, your subscriber base. If you bought a database with email addresses, there may be many broken emails or spam traps. Working with a purchase base is not the best solution, as a rule. There is no result from such work and you will only harm yourself. At best, the user will unfollow you. At worst, they will complain. The best way is to assemble the database yourself. Regularly check it, clean it and expand it. Reason number two. A sharp jump in sent emails. If your domain is not warmed up and you decide to quickly increase the number of recipients, your emails end up in spam. The domain needs to be warmed up. Use our tool Warmy for this. Third reason. Email content. The content of your letter makes Gmail suspicious. Spam words, caps lock, promotional content, too many links, etc. Algorithm also read content. Pictures, text, attachments and links. Any part of the letter can affect delivery. Reason number four, mailbox settings. You must set up authentication. Make SPF, DKAM and DMARC records in the domain zone of the site. This is how postal services make sure that the letters come from the declared source. Authentication will not only improve mail deliverability, but also protect against spammer attacks. No one will be able to send bulk emails from your domain. Reason number five, too many emails. Even the most patient subscriber will complain about spam if he receives 10 messages a week from one company. Follow the rule, less but better. Your best bet is to schedule your email newsletter. Make your subscribers aware of the schedule and stick to it. Reason number six, rating of your email. Each domain has a rating. If you have it low, your emails are more likely to land in spam. There are many factors that affect the rating, such as how recipients interact with your emails, the number of responses to your mailing lists, the number of emails sent, etc. Tools like Wormy solve this problem and fix your domain reputation by warming up your email box. Reason number seven, blacklists. If your IP address is blacklisted by spammers, your emails will definitely go to spam. We have an email deliverability checker that will show you if your domain is blacklisted. Wormy will also help you improve the reputation of the domain and your email will be excluded from these lists. Reason number eight, spam complaints. Your subscribers may mark your emails as spam. This happens if they didn't consent to your mailing list or if they don't like your emails. If someone flags your email as spam, don't panic. It just shows that you need to change something. Go through all the points and correct all your mistakes. An email is a great place for A-B testing. Ninth reason, high bounce rates. Another answer to your question, why is Gmail blocking my emails, is that you may have high bounce rates. 
The bounce rate is the percentage of emails that were not delivered due to an incorrect addresses, a full mailbox or technical failures of the mail service among all emails sent. The rate of return in different industries may be different, but on average does not exceed 1%. With a high bounce rate, email providers will decide that the sender is sending spam and block it. And the last one, 10th reason, Gmail instructions. Gmail has clear guidelines and rules that anyone who starts mass emailing needs to learn. By following the established rules, you will be able to achieve high results and get into Gmail inbox. It's much easier to prevent getting into spam than it is to get out of it. Do your best in the beginning to save money, time and nerves in the long run. Make SPF, DKIM and DMARC records, keep the base clean and check the postmaster regularly. If your domain's reputation for Gmail has fallen below the baseboard, fixing the situation is difficult but possible. Use our tool. We will solve this issue for you.